Okay, this is a quick demonstration of the spring mass damper problem. So this um, this GUI here has been created using JavaScript and HTML, and I've got uh, the standard inputs at the top here, which are mass, um, the damper, damping constant, the spring constant k, y is the initial displacement, and v is the initial velocity. So if you click solve <coughs> um, it creates some plots here and shows some screen output. So in terms of the plots the time step the time stepping solution is shown in black and the exact an or analytical solution is shown in red and the um, exponential equation is shown separately in green. So you can basically change these variables. So I change the damping to 0 0.5, and then you can rerun it, and you can set to different values, and to compare the effect that has. So you can also reset the screen and run it again. You can check that the input variables are being read properly, and the other settings are dt is the time step for the um, time stepping solution and im is the maximum number of time steps so in this case I've set it to um, 4900 uh, and then this variable here the skip parameter just allows you to show more or less output to the screen so if you want to if you have lots of output it can slow the solution down quite a bit um, so you can just change this value to whatever you want so if I change that to 1000 or 100 it affects how long it takes to create the solution so to reset that um, so if we start off with a plot then we can change the, the initial y value to say 1.5 and resolve that or we can add some initial velocity say 2 and solve that um, so you can vary all sorts, all sorts of things to compare, compare the effect um, so that's about it really um, so this just allows you to look at different parameters in spring damper problem and to compare the solutions and so what we're really comparing here is the the sort of approximate time stepping solution shown in black and comparing that with the analytical value there so if we reduce the damping to say 0 0.5 and then solve that you can see you get more oscillation and because this is written in JavaScript and HTML um, it's very easy to to change the equation or change the solver parameters, and so you can quite easily edit this and um, look at to look at different forms of the equation. But at the moment, we're just looking at the um, the underdamped solution for the spring mass damper problem.